got a new pair of shoes to try out. These are the Skechers Ultra Run 2. And uh, I guess they're on sale. Because they got a 2017 Skechers Go Run catalog that came with it. So I finished a 10 miler shuffle jog testing out the Skechers Ultra Run 2. And a little different than I thought, so. I think I'm going to cool off with 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so here I got a nice optical lime flavor. And uh, usually I don't buy things that have sugar in them. There's a lot of sugar in this. Uh, maybe I need to add more carbs to my diet. Increase the carbs if I increase the mileage. Anyway, you know, 100 degree Fahrenheit day, pretty hot out there. Had to do some walking. Didn't feel like uh, pushing it too hard. Legs a little tired from yesterday, trying to see if I get a high mileage weekend this week. Takes a lot of time. Hey, I'm wondering, you know, if some of those ultra chicks would like to suck on my popsicle after a training run 10 miler in 100 degree heat. I kind of think they would. So here we have the Skechers Ultra Run 2. Now this is a color that was on sale, not necessarily my choice of color. But anyway, I tried it on a 10 mile shuffle jog with a few places where I went a little faster on the road. And it was 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't find that my feet were too hot in it. A lot of reviewers complained that there was not much breathability and that's kind of true. They kind of have a solid fabric on the top. But anyway, I found it to be okay. Uh, I do think this tab on the back isn't really to my liking. It's something I guess you're supposed to grab with your fingers as you put the shoe on. I prefer the one where you can stick your fingers through or get two fingers through. And so okay, kind of similar to some of the other Skecher sole. It's got a big indent around the heel. I guess if you're a heel striker, maybe it works good for you. Midfoot striker, uh, I guess it's a little misplaced. But anyway, um, it's okay. You know, it's not the walking or running on clouds experience, like some reviewers said, so I disagree with that. I think it's kind of softer than the Clayton 2 in terms of stiffness. It's got the 5th generation, we call it 5 gen cushioning. But um, it's a maximal shoe from Skechers. And it's got a 4 millimeter drop, so it's low drop, but it's not zero drop. Kind of thinking now maybe I would have preferred to try the Ultra Paradigm. Paradigm. Anyway, um, that's it, pretty much. You know, it seems like it's okay for uh, efforts, you know, where you want a little more cushioning, don't want to feel the road as much, but it uh, wasn't the soft ride that I wanted. I was looking forward to running on clouds. I guess there isn't any Clifton 1 out there anymore, which is the shoe people said was like running on clouds. So I guess they've kind of gone to more stiffer cushioning. And uh, this one does have some you know, flex to it, but um, it's not like, say, the Ultra One 2.5, which kind of has a nice soft cushioning. So anyway, a little disappointed, but uh, was on sale for 60 bucks, and you can probably go find it pretty quickly for that price in this color.